Hello, kia ora, welcome, haramai koshu. Um, I'm going to look now, I'm following on from the um, other example that I've done on accounts payable. Um, and we've done the balance adjustment itself, and um, we've done then the journal for this. Now we're following up and doing the ledger. We're going to do the ledger for accounts payable, and then we're going to do the ledger for advertising. So we can see, let's just go through, we can see that we had an invoice on hand. We had a bill sent to us for 2300 for advertising. And our accounts payable went up because we've got to pay that full amount. We've got to pay $2,300 for accounts payable. That's the amount due. And we, we can claim that cash back from the government. So we negatively uh, changed the GST. And we uh, bought the advertising. So that was the value of the advertising should we put on. So if we see this in the trial balance, our accounts payable, the full amount went up by 2,300. Our GST went down by $300, and then our advertising increased by 2,000. So uh, I'm gonna pop this into the ledger. Now, um, we'll start off with accounts payable. It doesn't matter which one we start off with. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna look at, so we've gotta pop the titles in here. So we've got the date, the particulars, um, and debit and credit and then of course then we've got the balance there we go and so what we're going to do the first thing i do with my ledgers now remember a ledger is a storybook and it's a storybook from birth to death of that particular item so for example how much have i spent on advertising since i've first ever started advertising um, and so if we now look at the accounts payable, so we've got the date, so, okay, that's easy enough. Particulars, that describes what's, uh, what's actually happening, whether it's a debit, whether it's a credit entry, and then my overall balance. Now, my end balance is going to equal my total of these two added together, because that's the end of my story. We'll, we'll have this figure here that's those two numbers combined. So let's keep an eye out on that. So then, um, the first thing I need to do then is I need to establish whether there's an existing balance for accounts payable. In other words, was there a number there before I did the balance day adjustment? And yes, there was, and that's the $1,700 there. So on the 1st of March, we'll call it the 1st of March, I had an opening balance, and that balance was $1,700. So to stop me using these two columns, I'm just gonna do kiss, kiss, and put the 1,700 in here. And then I need to establish whether that's a debit or a credit. So I know that because it's on this side of the trial balance, it has to be a credit. So I'm gonna put credit in there, there we go. Now, if I didn't put the credit in there, then I'm gonna get that whole line incorrect. So it's very, very, very important. Now, some ledgers will give you the extra column and be very, very nice to you, and they'll give you the option to put the credit in there. But I like to practice not doing that just to make sure that I do it. Right, so the next little step then is I need to show that this, tra what, what's happened with this transaction here, that that end balance has gone up by 2,300. So I now need to work out what's impacted accounts payable for that to change to that total amount there. Well, I'm actually gonna be naughty here. I'm gonna work backwards. So I know that my end total is going to be this, which is 4,000. So that's gonna be my end total. And it's a credit that's getting bigger. So that's still gonna be a credit. There we go. So something has changed that. That $2,300 has grown and it's a credit that's gone on top of there to make that an even bigger credit. So therefore that has to go in the credit column. Well, I shouldn't really put the plus there. So uh, that's gone. 2,300, there we go. So I can see that 1,700 plus the 2,300 equals the 4,000. Right, and then this has happened on the 31st. I don't need to keep on putting the month in, that's not, not important. 
and then I need to work out what's going on in the particulars column. So now I need to identify what has impacted accounts payable. In other words, what's the other half of the transaction? What were we paying for that made accounts payable go up? And of course, that's going to be our advertising. And it's advertising because I cannot put, the most common mistake here is for people to put accounts payable. And that would be me saying that accounts payable has been impacted by accounts payable, which doesn't make sense. So therefore I have to put the other half of the transaction in and I have to identify what it's specifically for or where it's come from. And that's been impacted by advertising. And I can also put GST in there if I wish to do so. There we go. And that's our accounts payable ledger. Right. So my advertising ledger, we're going to do the same, the same scenario. So for my advertising ledger, um, we'll do the columns again, just so we know what's going on. Date, particulars, debit, credit, balance. And then this time I'm not going to put that extra column in. Um, so the date, uh, first off, I need to work out, was there an existing amount? Yes, there was. There's that 180 there. So I'm going to put the date in as the 1st of March again. And then I've got my balance or my opening balance. It's better just to use balance instead of opening balance. Kiss, kiss. And I'm after that 180. And of course, that is a debit. And it's a debit because it's on the debit side of the trial balance. So then I need to work out what my end total is going to be. I just find it so much easier to work backwards on these. So I'm going to do this column and then work that way like I did with the accounts payable. So my end balance is going to be 2,180. So 2,180. And of course, that's a debit that's grown. So that is going to be a debit. And that's because that debit's grown, it's been impacted by the debit column of the 2,000 here. There we go. And this, of course, was on the 31st. And what then has impacted the advertising? What popped through the post? It was our invoice, which was for advertising, but we've got to pay it. So the other half of the transaction is the accounts payable. In other words, we're going to pay the accounts payable, which will cover the advertising. And that's our ledger. Awesome.